up with cousins and so forth. But something happened. Mama would go to the market every Saturday. We weren't Seventh-day Adventists at the time, so don't judge me. So Mama used to go to the market at, on Saturdays. And, and every time Mama goes to the market, she would buy what is a big bulla. You know bulla. Yes, because yes, I went to one church and no one knew what a bulla was. So, so, so Mama would buy... Mama would buy bulla. Oh, you don't know what a bulla is. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? Okay, a bulla cake is a round or square uh, uh, cake-like thing that, that, that is very hard. It's not as soft as the cakes are. But I'll tell you a little bit more about what bulla is. Anyway, uh, Mama used to buy a big bulla to, to, to share among us. And what would happen is even before uh, we came in or even before we asked Mama for this bulla when she came, she would already divide it in equal pieces for us to receive. She would divide it in equal pieces so that every person, every cousin that was there would have their equal share. I'm just saying this to let somebody know that God, even though you are still not yet ready to receive what God has in store for you, but he has already divided up the pieces that belongs to you. You see, sometimes you think that, that God is so unfair to not give you the things that you desire. But sometimes, even though they are not given unto you yet, sometimes, even though you are still going through your little passage, you ought to know that God has already divided up the pieces for you. So what is for you will be yours. All you have to do is just wait on your turn. All you have to do is just stick out the little time. God, it will come. So I'm just going to wait until my breakthrough comes. Don't follow this young boy and believe that you can just go ahead and grab, take away what is yours before it is time at the appropriate. 